Chef, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you for having the Golden Local in your very fine steakhouse. Um, congratulations on winning the Golden Local. How does it feel? Uh, awesome. It's just the best, uh, best thing happened for the restaurant. So, you know, very happy to have uh, this award and uh, also to have so many uh, customers and to vote for us. Well, tell us a little bit about your background in terms of bringing the, the American Steakhouse, the new American Steakhouse, to New York and what was your mission and what was your goal in creating this restaurant? Well, the mission was just to uh, try to create an American concept and to bring it with a French bistro. Mm -hmm. One of the BLT at the Vigno uh, Leopi. Uh, and then uh, also to bring something more comfort to the more casual dining. Uh, different kind of games and all the games, like the you know, the New York steak and, and the filet and the porterhouse. Like house. We also have uh, hang of steak, flat iron, we, we have different cuts. And you were telling me also before, you have also different cuts just to really service all the different tastes and styles of anyone who, would, who might come in here. Tell us a little bit more about that in terms of the size and quality and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, when sometimes a bunch of guys want to steak and then they, they go for the water house and uh, women will go for a smaller water of steak. We have some small filet like Thomas, we have some kind of steak, uh, more appropriate. Right, so you would say it's all about, really all about customer service here in terms of giving the customer exactly what fits their appetite. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And, and, and try to keep it, like I say, very relaxed atmosphere, nothing sophisticated. Uh, and also, the most important thing those days is really to eat some fresh ingredients, like we have seasonal and fresh uh, vegetables. And we pay very well attention to that, you know, every season we have new stuff, mm -hmm. special. Can you tell us a little bit about your background as a chef and where you studied and what brought you to the LC Steak in New York? Uh, yes. All the way from France? All the way from France, wow, that's a long way. It is a long way. <laughs> um, no, I'm classical train, uh, French train in France and travel in Europe, um, England, um, Moscow, <laughs> you know, and, and moved to the United States uh, 18 years ago and uh, you know, traveled a little bit uh, with the chef uh, and uh, decided to open uh, the empty steak with my partner. And, uh, and, why, and why steak as opposed to perhaps traditional French cuisine? Um, it's such a, it's such a the market in New York we were discussing earlier. The market in New York is so vast in terms of the choices that you have and, and so many uh, traditional steakhouses that have been around for so long and, and you've you've managed to be relatively new and yet corner a real slice of the market and you become one of the more, if not most popular steakhouse in New York. Yeah, I think my traditional French uh, training kind of like had to it. Uh, and when I first came to this country, I found the American steakhouse something like really amazing and a product where you couldn't find it in Europe. And you know, I said maybe if I plan what I what I know to, what to do and and what I learned with the American concept. Can come up with something very really good, and that's the product of the existing. Congratulations again! Thank you. I'm, this steak is phenomenal. This is really uh, quite a treat. Um, any last words? Any last uh, anything else you'd like to add about winning the Golden Local and being and being a, a favorite sort of a staple New York restaurant now? Being 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 crowned this, it really is. Uh, uh, I would say a, a spot on the map for you guys in terms of the New Yorker really uh, connecting with your restaurant. Very much, and thank you very much for giving us this opportunity and the award. You know, I just want to thank you all the uh, the client who support us and, and to have such a uh, following. It's it's quite of an honor for me. You know, I I would never uh, expect that one day to to have a challenge like that against the legendary Peter Luger. So I'm, I'm very very happy. Thank you. Well, they're in good company. Thank you. My pleasure. Does it work? Perfect. Great. Before, may I have you smile? VIT Steak started five years ago. Uh, when uh, my partner just uh, told me he had a location on 57th Street between Park and Legs, and uh, you know, we, I started walking around the neighborhood and see uh, what kind of uh, concept they were not in the neighborhood. And, and, uh, we decide to come up with a 
the VLC concept and, uh, and it was a steakhouse. Uh, so I put a business plan together and we took uh, further and uh, that's how it all started and that was five years ago. What makes BLT steaks so different than the other steakhouses? Uh, you know, I did not want to have uh, a trendy restaurant. I wanted to be able to come and feel very comfortable. Uh, I don't think we have a level of sophistication, but it's not obnoxious. It's not very steakhouse light where we have white tablecloth. And I think it's more relaxed atmosphere. And I think uh, the point I wanted to make with it is also for women to accommodate women, not only uh, uh, men's uh, clubs like but more also for women to come and celebrate and you know birthdays and so on and uh, so you could find maybe a smaller cut of steak also on the menu like we have some mango steak fillets smaller fillets what makes the steak here so good the quality of the meat i guess <laughs> uh you know we we pre on the steak before and we also char broil the steak until we have uh, a crust on it, and I think the grill, the combination of the grilling and the char rolling, I think it's uh, is a good flavor. So how does it feel to win this Golden Local Award? Just very happy. Yeah. I've been stressed for the last the last week, and then uh, you know I saw the number going up and down last week, uh, and we were at some point we were at 47. Peter Olegar was at 53. And it was like I was not sleeping. <laughs> uh, so, but it, it, you know, it's it, it's really an honor for us to have that, and especially uh, comparing us to Peter Luger, who's been an institution for the last 50 years. I think it's uh, it, it, it's a great honor to them. And you spoke highly of Peter Luger very, before. Very, And when I created the concept, uh, I also went to visit them and 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 tried and see to understand why they were so uh, popular and. And, 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 they have, and they have everything I dream of over steakhouse. Yeah. So it's a pretty high honor to be chosen over them. Very much. Hi. How's it going? How are you guys doing? BLT steak, fantastic steak. Check them out at NBCNewYork.com. Fabulous. Crazy man. Steak in New York as voted by me and all New Yorkers, the Golden Local. That's for you, sir. Wow, thank you. Thank you. It's an honor for me. No, it's an honor for me. No, it's an honor for me. 